Magnus. Ja. The director in chief of the best football program in Scandinavia, Hammarby Supportrarnas match program. That's it. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, uh, I think uh, maybe you're right. It. Uh, I think it's counted uh, as the best uh, because uh, uh, the scene for um, match programs is not. It's not de developing. It, it's. Uh, uh, sinking, I, I should say. Most clubs, they don't care much anymore about match programs. We have gone the, the other way. We care more and more about our match program uh, and it's uh, ve very appreciated, uh, I must say. So, um, uh, the way we do it, uh, uh, we're not the official program for Hammarby, but they use our program as their official. Uh, but we are an independent group of supporters that make uh, the program. And uh, uh, I, I think uh, that's one of the reasons uh, why it's so popular, because we can have a little bit other tone. We, we don't have to... Uh, Agree with everything. Exactly. We don't have to push... Uh, 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 the advertisers and, and, and that kind of thing. So, uh, we can have a little bit other attitude in our program. You started in 2008 when, when Bayern stopped producing their own. Yeah, uh, they decided uh, we're not going to have a printed program anymore. They had some other solution. I think it's uh, in the mobile phone or something like that. But we felt we were supporters that were used to buy the program e every every game and said uh, if they don't want to do it we do it ourselves we want the program and uh, we couldn't be sure how many people who would be interested in this but we found uh, quite early we, we found out that there were enough people wanting the printed program so we uh, uh, we we got um, uh, well we, uh, uh, we we found it uh, good fun to do this because it was so appreciated. So it was just to keep on, and, and since that we have uh, extended the pages uh, for yeah. every year and made it better and better. And, yeah, and eventually you will have the hundred pages. Yeah. <laughs> now it's uh, 40 pages. Yes, but, but you had already 50 for uh, Kennedy's game. We had in Kennedy's game, we had uh, 52 pages. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we look at the English programs uh, where they make, uh, make them 84 pages, mm -hmm. 96 pages. Uh, uh, but... Uh, it's important also that it's quality. Absolutely, uh, yeah. So it's not just to put in ad adverts and adverts yeah, and yeah, adverts yeah. To, to make it... Well, you could make it already 100 pages with advertising, yeah. but the, then it would lose some of the identity. We have... Um, uh, so far, we have uh, taken the decision to have... Uh, 75% uh, must be our content. own uh, yeah. content, yeah, That's and 25% uh, can be, be advertising. So, if we keep on those uh, uh, proportions, we, uh, uh, I, I think everyone will be glad for oh, yeah. every extension we do. Tell us a little bit about about yourself you have been a long time supporter there was a story about you in one of the books you know and and you you as an uh, old school supporter and then the <laughs> the young school supporters how did you start following uh, Hammarby well um, I, I was uh, as a kid I was very interested in football I was not very good at playing football but I, I liked football and uh, uh, read about football. I played also for a local team, but I wa was not very good at all. Uh, it, it wa when, I, uh, uh, when I should choose uh, the team, uh, there are 
Uh, as uh, you may know, it's uh, three big clubs in Stockholm. I was, uh, I grew up in the northern part where most people support AIK, not everyone, but uh, uh, Hammarby is mainly southern Stockholm. Uh, but it was something with Hammarby that uh, that caught me. Uh, it was something. Uh, uh, they were some underdogs and it was seemed to be more fun around uh, Hammarby, more more joy and, and uh, happiness and uh, so uh, I I decided Hammarby and found some other uh, guys around that area that was also Hammarby so we started to go from our uh, uh, northern suburb to to the games and uh, well, uh, that's the way it. It, uh, 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 it didn't take long before I wanted to be part of this. Uh, when you go to away games and uh, uh, more dedicated, uh, so I went to my first away game. I, I think I was 15 or, or something like that. And where was it? Uh, in Örebro. Okay. Uh, bus uh, and and they were so the other people at that bus they were so uh, confused and and impressed that we came from northern uh, part of Stockholm it's so far away because it, it was those days it was very very local Hammarby it was mainly so the Malm and and the, uh, the green line of yeah. the, the tube uh, uh, southbound uh, so they were very surprised that uh, we had found Hammarby from, from our uh, northern suburb. But now you also live on the south side. Yes, yes I do. Uh, it, it, it's uh, felt more and more natural. I, I found that uh, yeah, I want to be part of what, uh, of what Hammarby really is. And uh, uh, the local it's one it's one of the main things with Hammarby that that uh, we have a strong local uh, uh, how to say it bindings yeah sort yeah. of connections sort of, yeah, and yes yeah. so um, to, to understand Hammarby uh, uh, the more far away you can like Hammarby, everyone can like Hammarby, but to really understand what Hammarby is, it's uh, better to be close to this uh, uh, part where we started once. Um, so you have been at the old Söder Stadion and, and were you opposed for the building of the new Söder Stadion or uh, were you for it? Uh, definitely I, wa I was opposed. I, I was very very worried uh, what's gonna happen with uh, the culture around Hammarby when we get a very very big we were used to being a, a, a tiny uh, ground that took 12 13 thousand uh, you got really good atmosphere you didn't have to be more than six seven thousand and it was a strong atmosphere uh, I was afraid that we were going to lose that uh, by moving to a, a ground for 30,000 people. And uh, the new ground is also uh, an event ground. They use it for a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. The old Söder Stadion was only Hammarby. You could, uh, it, it was like this uh, ground where we are now, Sinkens Dam. Mm. Uh, so if you look at, uh, if you film up here for instance, uh, you see uh, a lot of stickers uh, and that's the way it was uh, at Old Söder Stadion. You could really feel and see this is Hammarby's ground. It was painted green and white. Uh, no, the other clubs they didn't want to play there, it was ours. And the, the new ground, it's very different. It's more like an airport uh, or something <laughs> like that. But, uh, uh, I also must say it has turned out quite uh, quite all right. Uh, uh, now we are 
average 20 25000 and it, it, it's obvious that we needed a bigger place uh, uh, there were there were a lot of people that wanted to be a part of this uh, uh, hammerby culture but uh, uh, the the tiny ground stopped us from yeah. from getting all the those people so so, so uh, it, it it has worked out good, I must say. Yeah. In the end of the day, it turned out very well. I'm as far as I'm concerned. I never went to the uh, old Söder Stadium, mm. and I've been walking around it, but there was no gate. So I've, I've been around that area. So, but but I've been at the uh, new stadium, and and I have to say that it's it's magnificent. The the fan clock, that, that's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely great. Yeah, we have. Uh, I think we have uh, the supporters have uh, taken the ground uh, uh, for what it is and made the best thing of it. And uh, uh, these dedicated the ultra groups, uh, uh, those uh, people who who are very dedicated, they also want to have flags and sing and all that. The, their part have grown. Uh, I think uh, all parts have grown. We. Mm -hmm. have, we went from uh, average uh, 10,000 to 20, 25,000, so, well... Um, it's a new world. <laughs> it's a new world, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I, I st uh, I'm never going to feel that the new ground is a home. Yeah. It's never going to be a home for me. It, it, it's... Uh, uh, it's some kind of local you rent for one day and you go there and have a good party and a good time yeah and th then you're when you're out it's uh, they do something else with it uh, mm. so it's but so how do you feel about sharing it with you Gordon uh, like most ha Hammarby uh, fans I'm uh, I'm not glad uh, uh, I, I think it would be better for us and for you, Gordon, if they had their own ground. Mm. Uh, uh, and I don't, uh, I don't want to see them there. But but also I know it's uh, owned by by the by the city. Uh, oh. <laughs> sports, sports here. Um, uh, so, I mean, we could we couldn't build uh, that kind of ground with our own money. Hmm. It's just to accept that uh, if we want that kind of ground, uh, someone else is gonna own it, and uh, for them to make it profitable, uh, uh, they can't just let us uh, let, yeah. use it. So uh, that's the way it is. Uh, but. Uh, well, if you ask me, I, I want to get rid of you, Gordon, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it came to my mind when I was speaking with Axel Perschhagen that when he was telling about how, how the fan base is built from different kinds of ethnic groups and, and different kinds of social groups and so forth, Hammerby reminds me a lot of St. Pauli. It's it's a local local club in that respect, and everybody from a kid to grandfather support their local team. And actually, when we stopped here, one of the times I was visiting with my son, we went to have a have a cup of coffee in a pub to watch a football game. Mm. There was an old man with a Bayern's tracksuit top on, and he was having his Sunday beer there. So it is it is like you know in, in Sudermalm, you can see so much Hammerby yeah, everywhere. Yeah. So. Uh, it's true. We in, in Södermalm, it's uh, uh, the population has been changing because it's it's uh, inner city and uh, uh, flats are more and more expensive. It's not like it was a, a very working class uh, uh, area. Uh, but but uh, though this uh, change in population, the new people that come, they seem to understand that uh, uh, this is Hammarby and, and uh, they want to be part of, of, of that. So I, I think it uh, keeps on the... Uh, it goes from, as you say, from father to son or mother to, mm. to daughter. Uh, uh, 
it is such a strong culture, so you can't, uh, though uh, uh, the inner city is changing, you can't kill uh, uh, the culture around Hammarby. Which is good. Yeah, yeah. And maybe um, uh, the culture might be broader these days compared to when I was young. Uh, like when I went to away games uh, as a teenager, we were 15 to 25. Uh, most uh, young men looked uh, the same. Today, if you go to an away game, we are... We can, like in Örebro, um, we were 4,000, it was uh, 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 families, old women, uh, kids, uh, uh, there were people from, uh, with different kind of works and that kind of, uh, it's much broader today and then I, I, I think uh, in many ways it's, it's a better and more and funnier uh, supporters culture today but maybe you I had when you're young you do more crazy things <laughs> and, and that kind of thing so, so maybe uh, I had more fun uh, when I was 25 compared to today but uh, um, well, most that, that's only because I've grown up and, and get got boring. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, most definitely, you know, uh, we probably don't do the same things as we did when we were young, which is partly smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but, and it's also good that the uh, YouTube and uh, mobile phones uh, didn't exist when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably good for most of us, anyhow. Yeah. Um, Programs. Uh, did you collect programs in your youth, or, or, or was it just Hammerby programs? Or was it like you know, this is what I want to do, and and, and oh. where did it came? Uh, I bought uh, my first program. I bought at my first Hammerby game, and uh, uh, immediately. It immediately it got uh, a part of my uh, uh, of my match day to buy the program I, I wanted a souvenir I wanted yeah. something uh, that could show that I had been there yeah. some people uh, save tickets and I, I think I, when I was young I saved tickets as well but I've lost that collection somewhere but uh, 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 yes I want some a proof or something that, yeah. that I've been so I don't collect pro I, I, I collect the programs when I go to a game I yeah. buy the program yeah. and I save it but today I have no good order they are somewhere and uh, <laughs> I, I could hardly find a certain program <laughs> I, I, if I looked for it but uh, well I don't throw them yeah 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 um, how many people are working to make one program to come out? Uh, our program, we're quite a big group uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of different functions. Some people, uh, they just sell it. Uh, some people do the editorial and uh, uh, we have also people that are uh, uh, take care of the money and uh, we have a board uh, uh, it, it's organized as, as a what is it called forening uh, yeah yeah uh, not a company but registered sort yeah, of like yes society or something or, or uh, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, altogether there are 30 people that do something uh, during the year for this uh, program. It's a small community. It's, it's yes, like it's a uh, yeah. We count ourselves uh, as a, some kind of supporters group. Uh, yeah. Uh, and one are uh, there are so many. I, I you I used to um, describe it as uh, hammerbeism, uh, as I say. Yeah. Uh, there are so many ants that. Uh, they go with our little straw and together it, it, it becomes yeah. a very uh, big nest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, and uh, we're part of that to our little group. We do this, we want to document Hammarby, we want to, to describe Hammarby in, in pictures and, and words, in, in uh, uh, printed things. Uh, others do other things and, well, it's, uh, this is our bit. And uh, obviously it's, there are quite a few that like to do this bit. Uh, yes, we became 30 pe people yeah. and we don't lose anyone. There, there are very seldom someone says, no, I don't want to do this anymore. It, uh, the, the trend is that more people want to be part of, uh, of uh, our, our thing. So we will see the 100 pages. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you One very day. much, Magnus. Yeah. Thank